Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what solds for last week, Monday through Thursday, which would be November 28th through December 1st. Excellent, excellent, excellent last week. I'm starting to see a little bit of a downward twint trend right now as far as sales because I think people are finishing up and a lot of people are realizing it might not get there yes it's two weeks away but it might not get there so you know it's still good the sales are still great but you're going to start seeing for me personally I usually see by like next week the sales will be very much less um and then I'm pretty sure we're going to be taking a trip at the end of the month um, and so I'll put my store on vacation um, probably the week before um, New Year's. So we're going to go visit some family and do some sourcing at the Goodwill Bins in St. Louis. So if you're in that area, let me know. Maybe we can meet up for lunch or something. Compare carts. I love shopping at the Bins. Love it. But I'm going to be smarter this year. You know, we talked about our goals for next year. Another one of my goals is to not go crazy buying stuff that's going to take forever to list. Like my G.I. Joes. Oh, my G.I. Joes. I have them in a really large lot at a very high price. And I just know that was bad. Bad. So I'm going to have to end them and take the time. I know many of you said I should list them individually, but I got to quit doing that kind of stuff. But we didn't do any sourcing this weekend at all. Um, but I'm hoping to maybe um, hit Goodwill on Wednesday. That's, that's my new goal is to start going to our local, well, the Asheville Goodwill outlet and do a little do a little sourcing. All right, let's get to this. I have sales on all four platforms, but of course, most of my sales are on eBay quite a bit. Uh, and again, I don't show everything, but I did show a nice variety of things that I've sold. Um, I've got to get cross-listing again. Other goal, other goal, get more stuff cross-listed. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. Um, so when I say something sold for $11, um, the buyer did pay additional for shipping. I do use List Perfectly to cross list to all the other platforms. So everything starts on eBay. And then I cross list to Mercari, Etsy, and Poshmark. Um, I signed up for Depop, but I haven't really done anything with that yet. I'm not sure if there's any other 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 platforms that I should be considering if you're doing something if you sell similar things to me and you're using a different platform let me know about that in the comments um, I think that that's the gist of how I do my business we all have our own ways to do our businesses you know some people totally believe in the free shipping I just don't all right, only one sale on Mercari to, to share with you. These were some Santa Claus and Miss Pig porcelain figures. They sold for $11. I'm sure we picked that up at the estate sale where Robert just went crazy and bought all kinds of Homco. Homco. Have four sales on Poshmark. This, these are Cherokee Boys Winter Snow Pants. Perfect time of year for that. I have a feeling we're in for a rough, heavy snow winter. I don't like winter. Look, I just, in my house, I'm wearing a, a flannel shirt. Um, these sold for $15 on Posh. DKNY women's jeans. They sold for $13 on Posh. Build-A-Bear. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Raphael. 18 inch, it sold for $11. And then these Odagiri Japan coffee tea cup set. A lot of two. I picked these up a long time ago. I actually got four reds and then there were four of a different design, but they were green. It's taken forever. I get them cross listed to Poshmark and they sell for this, this season. They sold for $18. I did have two sales on Etsy. Etsy's been wild for me this past week. 
lots of sales. I think one day I shipped three things. And I only have vintage toys and mostly my high dollar ones on there. This is a Commonwealth cloth doll, 16 inch plush from 1989. It sold for $24.95. The thing about this though is, like I said, everything is on eBay. So how I deal with my, when something sells on another platform, I go into eBay and I end that listing and then it goes into my unsolds. And then when I'm going to pull all of my sales, I go through all my solds and then I open up unsold and I pull everything that's sold elsewhere that's in my unsolds. Well, could not find this on eBay. You know, I, then I went into Terapeak. Had it sold already, I went into my solds, didn't see it there, used different words, and I thought, just go look and see. Um, for me, when I list stuff, when I process stuff, I have a spreadsheet. I know a lot of people like to list right on their phone, but I never have done it that way. I prefer to do a spreadsheet and then every morning when I wake up, that's the first thing I do is list everything that got processed the day before. So I went to my spreadsheet and I could find where it was located, the bin, the SKU, the custom SKU for it. And I went out there and it was there. So what has happened is eBay dropped this listing. And it's not even that old. It was this year I listed it, but somehow eBay dropped it. So thank goodness I had my spreadsheet so I could figure out where it was. Cause not always does this custom SKU transfer over. I just use my unsolds to find everything. So I've got to do an inventory. I have to, to find out how many more things have been dropped. And then this, speaking of GI Joes, here's my Hasbro GI Joe. It was from that really large lot I bought. Um, this was one of the only ones I could find an example of with the accessories. And so I listed it separately. It sold on Etsy for $79.95. All right, now to eBay, lots to share. This is Fisher Price Little People, the 993 Castle. He's the wood bodied um, king. He, I bought that huge lot on the Highway 127 sale. I paid $95 for a large box of Little People. He was one of the figures in there. I am way into the profit already. He sold for $16. Fontanini, um, I pick these up anytime I find them. Sometimes I find them in boxes, sometimes I don't. They do say Fontanini on the bottom. When I write on here with that red marker, I can't show you any of the pictures. Um, it just kind of stalls it like this. Um, but it, they do say Fontanini on the bottom. Um, he sold for best offer of $10. I think I paid 50 cents for him at an estate sale. <laughs> the blow molds. Finally got them all listed. I have sold two of them. Sold the baby Jesus right away. I think within a day or two. Um, sold for $35 best offer. Gund, Veggie Tales. I almost did it, y'all. I almost said gooned. Veggie Tales, Bob the Tomato, and Larry Boy. I picked these up at, um, I think, a yard sale for like 50 cents or something each. Or it may have been in a bulk lot. Sold the two of them together for $14.50. They did have some issues. Um, Larry Boy had paint scratches on his eyeballs and stuff. That's very common with him. Um, and then I think one of the hats, the hat on the other one was a little loose, but I can't beat $14.50. Hobby Lobby, I don't find a whole lot of plush from that store, but they do very well for me. Um, this was a 12 inch yellow duck, sold for $10.75. These next two screens are with this, a single buyer. She bought this um, Santa Claus stocking. It's made out of the nylon parachute type material. Um, she bought this one first and paid $20 and then realized I had more. So sent me an offer on two more. And she bought the nylon reindeer and the nylon snowman for 15 bucks each. Um, didn't wait for me to send an invoice. So I do always send refunds when they have uh, paid too much in the shipping, um, when they've not waited for me to send invoices. So I did send a refund on that. I think it's just good business practice. 
brown and black dog plush, 14 inch, sold for $17.95. Again, no tag. So I just use as many keywords as I can. They still sell. Don't be afraid to list stuff that you don't know who the manufacturer is. And a lot of times when you try to do something like this with Google Lens, you're just going to get dogs, dog pictures. This is Clarice from the Island of Misfit Toys from 1998, sold for $13.45. Leggy, I think that store was named like Leggett's or something like that. I didn't grow up in these in the States. I'm not always remembering some of these older stores. It says Belk on here too, so I'm not sure if they were one in the same. I know somebody will send me a message saying Leggies and Leggett's and Belk's and all of that. This was a musical bear. I love picking these up, but... They don't always work. I'm not very good at them, like 60-40 at this point that they don't work, um, but this one did. Sold for $26.95. Again, oh wait, I can show you on this one because there's no writing. See, there's Leggy, but I always take pictures of the battery compartment. That way you can show that there's no corrosion or anything. I've won a case because I had pictures. Merrill's Men Mock Slip-On Shoes. I got lots of lowball offers on them, but I kind of stuck with my gun until I got a reasonable offer. They sold for best offer of $28. Babies Are Us, um, just a little cow plush. Not very big at all. I usually use like grip or gripper and a ring when it's this type of plush. $10 for just a normal little baby plush. I'll do that all day. Thanks, Vera. This is a viewer sale. As soon as she saw these in one of my haul videos, she asked when I was getting them listed. So I had planned on getting them listed the next day and she did purchase one of these. This is an Andrea by Sadek three piece floral teapot set. The top there is the cup and then you've got the teapot and then a lid for the teapot. I paid $2 for them at an estate sale and it sold for $19.95. Robert picked this up at an estate sale. Oops. I don't know nothing about it. I'll just read it. It's an LG Super Multi DVD Rewriter. I want to say he paid like $2 for it. Sold for $22.45. I plugged it in. It turned on. It opened. Build-A-Bear. There are some... You know, I'll know I have a video out that shows some of the really high dollar Build-A-Bears. But for the most part, the ones that I find are in my bread and butter. Eight to twelve dollars. Especially most of the bears, except for the bear that has like the pumpkins on it. Um, but this one um, was just regular bear, but it did have a cute little gift box and rose thing attached to it. Sold for nine dollars and ninety five cents. The thing is, as you see there, it's not on sale, which means it was a relist, a delete and re sell similar. Let's say that the right way. Delete and sell similar, and it sold immediately before my sale set in. I do that every day. Um, I might play around with that next year, but not during fourth quarter. Um, but it has worked tremendously for me. UT Little Smokey, the dog, just a cute little bean plush. Pretty sure it was vintage. Um, the manufacturer was Stephen Smith. I buy lots of like character type plush that's Stephen Smith. Um, but the big dollar ones that by him are usually the um, the Grateful Dead bears. Keep your eyes out for them. Um, this one sold for $15 best offer. Fisher Price Little People. Sometimes I do small lots. For some reason, I went ahead and put all of these together. You never know. I don't know what I'm going to do until I'm standing there trying to figure it out. Um, had lots of lowball offers on this, and then it sold for the sale price, $26.95. Guess How Much I Love You. Love that book. I remember reading that to my, my boys. Um, this is by Kids Preferred, $9.86.
I have sold two or three sets of these. I bought a bag of these little two and a quarter, three quarter inch high turkey baskets. They're like out of that blow mold material. I keep selling them for $15 for four of them. I'm pretty sure this is the third set. And it sold again, $15. I've got two left. Can't remember where I picked this up from at all, but it was a very large sloth. Love sloth. Um, 36 inches. It sold for best offer of $30. Walmart Christmas Bear and Snowman Pendants. Picked this up at an estate sale, probably on a half price day, which is when I like to buy a lot of the Christmas ornaments. Probably paid 50 cents each. They sold for $19. Fabric Mache Santa Claus. I thought it would do better, but it had some issues. The ladder had come loose from the hand. Stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'll keep buying these types because they're just very fragile and packing them. I just worry that they're going to get scrunched because it's like that fabric has been dumped in. Like that fabric stiffening stuff. I forget what it's called. Can't remember. And um, so it's, it's fragile. It sold for $11.25. Bumbles, abominable snowman, abominable snowman from Rudolph, 1998. He sold for best offer of $12. As you can see in there, any flaw, just list it. I wrote on there, does have a spot on his bottom. And I'll take a picture of it. It's not worth letting a buyer receive it, and finding the flaw and having an issue with it. And like, I sold something the other day. Um, it was a Pluffies. I'm not sure if I, yes. I may have told the story already. Sold a Pluffies. It had a hole in it that needed repaired. It was going international. I sent them a message, and I, I do this on a regular basis if I know there's a significant flaw in it, which a hole I consider significant, and said, did you realize that it had a hole in it? And they canceled because they didn't, and they didn't, they're like me, they're not gonna be able to repair it. So it would just be up front. Books are fun, bear by Teresa Kogut. I'm thinking that's a book, and this was a bear character from it. From 2004, it sold for $13.45. Hush Puppies, I buy these a lot at the bins. Um, they just seem to come through. I think I bought a bunch of, no, this. I do pick them up at the bins. Changing the story though. This came from the um, Hybrid Online Estate Sale that I won. I bought a couple of lots that included um, the Hush Puppies. And I there's a, um, like a series on the tags and I was able to sort them by series and then I listed them in lots, but he was all by himself. He still sold for $13.45. This was from my recent trip to the Nashville bins when I was doing Courtney's or Bolo Buddies bins bingo. Um, this is just a little Polly Pocket Compact. They're made by Bluebird, the vintage ones. This one was from 1992. It did not have its original figure. Um, still sold in like six days for $22.45. Here, I'll open it. I can show you the inside of this one. And then here, a little figure would fit where that little circle is over on the side there. But that's, that's how little they are. Some of them are a little bit bigger, but anytime you find a little compact like this and it says Bluebird on the back, grab it. Figures or not. Atlanta Falcons Pillow Pets. This is an 18 inch one. Um, sold for $13.45. Hasbro for Real Friends Pink Brush. Picked up at the Goodwill Bins in Greenville, South Carolina. I love to pick up this type of stuff. They're replacements to sets and somebody's gonna lose it or they're gonna find one at a yard sale and need the brush accessory. Sold for $11.66. I'm pretty sure less than a month. Hug Fun White Chicken Hen Plush. I, fi I have found these in this white color and then in the brown color. They tend to sell very well for me. Sold for $13.45. 
there's collectors of all animals and there are chicken people out there. I've had this listed forever, years, eight, nine, maybe. When I first um, quit my state job, I was going to Goodwill Outlet in Asheville two and three times a week trying to get a whole lot of inventory to build up my store because this became our primary income. So I remember getting this way back when and it has sat and sat and sat and finally sold. $8.96. Those Lego minifigures are still selling tons of them. These were from the Robo SWAT. They're all little skeletons dressed up as police. Um, these four figures sold for $35.95. Russ Tan Bubble Bear, eight inches tall, sold for $22.45. I love Russ. They don't tend to sell as well as this one did. I'm usually in my bread and butter, but I just love them. They're just very cute. Jimmy, Disney Winnie the Pooh snow globe, but it really wasn't a, a water snow globe. When you turned it on, um, it blew like little snow foam pellets all through it. Um, did have uh, some condition issues, sold for $11 best offer. This is Mattel Baby Beans. Um, it had lots of condition issues, but this is one of those dolls I will not run through a washing machine because it is full of beans um, and then the fabric just seems to be very more fragile. So I leave these types of dolls to the buyers to restore themselves. I could have probably got $20, $25 for it if it had been in better condition, but no, I'm not going to, I'm going to ruin them if I try to restore them. Disney Pink Piglet Plush from Winnie the Pooh. I pick up all things Pooh. Just love them. This sold for $9.95. Again, full price, which means it had been end and sell similar, and then it sold. Best Made Toys. I like that brand. Um, just kind of Kelly toy quality. Um, this one was from 2015 on Larger Elephant 15 inch, sold for $15.25. Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm thinking I got him maybe from Shannon. Shannon, did I get this from you? He was up here for a while and then Grover replaced him. And I figured at Christmas I really should go ahead and sell him. 2016, he did talk and had music. Um, sold for $21. This was also from the high bid estate sale I won last year. Um, lots of advertising um, plush, you know, restaurants, and but a ton of pharmaceutical stuff. These were from the drug Elicon. Um, two different size elephants, three and a half inch and seven inch, sold for $21.55. Baby blankets. I don't pick them up very often. A lot of times I just don't take the time to go through them and I need to because they do sell very well, especially certain brands, certain designs, especially if they're discontinued. This elephant, this blanket was by Kids Line and it sold for $18.95. Again, end and sell similar and then it sold. Here's another one of the GI Joes from the large lot I picked up. Um, he was just a policeman figure. I did find his hat. There was tons of accessories, tons, which is what kind of got me away from trying to piece it out because it was just, just a lot. He sold for $26.95. Thai Pluffies. I talk about them a lot. Bolo Buddies did a video recently on Pluffies. This one is, there's a monkey called Dangles. Usually he's browned. This one was blue. I have found it a couple of times. 2006, didn't have its tag. It did have some discoloration. It sold for $30. Fisher Price um, Movie Viewer, 
pretty sure this also came from Shannon. She sent me a gift box and she, that uh, little camera thing up there by Grover. Um, I kept my two, two favorite cartridges and the camera, um, but I went ahead and listed the rest. This um, movie, movie viewer cartridge of the Roadrunner sold for $20. TB Trading Company, I picked that brand up a lot. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were like sold in Kmarts and Walmarts. And I just get them very nice quality. You guys know I love Walmart plush anyway. Um, it sold for $10.95. Barney Dinosaur, picked them up all the time. Now there is one, the original Barney that sells for big bucks. Um, but this was just a regular one. I think his mouth is closed, the, the big bucks one. So if you ever get a Barney and there's a mouth is closed, um, definitely check the comps for him. This was from 1993, sold for $11.66. He did have a lot of condition issues, and I just always show it and tell it. Show and tell. Ty Pluffies again. This is a cat. I, this is the first time I found this cat. It's from 2004, $22.45. And this Fiesta Oliver Raccoon. These are from the Great Wolf Lodge. There's also a girl raccoon. Um, anytime I find them, I pick them up and they sell very quickly for me. This Oliver Raccoon sold for uh, $9.95. Okay, last two bigger sales for me. This is Christmas Around the World, which is House of Lloyd's. I remember going to these parties back in the, I want to say 80s and 90s. Um, a lot of Christmas stuff. I pick them up anytime I see them, if the price is reasonable. I was kind of surprised that this um, Skating Bears sold for as well as it did. Um, I'll have Robert put up the picture of it how it looks it's just had a little magnet for the pond and when you round it wound it up the magnet would move and the bear would look like he's skating on the pond mine kept stalling it, it would get to a point and it would stall and if i like tapped it it would keep going i put all of that in the description um let me see if i did a video nope i didn't do a video this was before i was doing videos finally decided I gotta let it go with a reasonable offer and I got one for $75 so I was happy and then this is my big sale this I picked up at the Nashville bins also I don't know if I got footage of it I do plan on putting some of that videos out and like do pop-ups I'll have to do a voiceover which I've never done before um, because the music was blaring there and so we won't be able to have sounds I don't think you guys just want to see me shopping with no words. Um, but I found him there. I, did, I knew it looked different. I knew the brand, Myleg. Um, but I didn't realize that he was so collectible. I looked on Worth Point for him. There were some that were, I want to say, 140s, 150s. Um, so I went a little bit high. But I thought when I got an offer of $120, I just, I couldn't not, you know, maybe I could have held out for a little more, but $120 for a plush. So I did it. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to have another video for tomorrow, which would be for the weekend sales. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. I'm so glad fourth quarter, last fourth quarter was so upsetting because of, just lots of things that happened that eBay caused. But this this year has been very good. And I know based on the, the posts in my Facebook group that others are having great success too. So uh, I'm just hoping, you know, it lasts for another week or so. And then January is usually really well for me too. I mean, does really well for me too um, because people have gotten gift cards and Christmas money and they're going out looking for nostalgia because you know a lot of the things I sell are vintage and not available anymore so it's it's nostalgia all right let's get to work bye